Okay, we should be on now. Let me just do a quick check on that. Novel time. We're going to continue with uh, Valhalla and uh, VA 11 Hall A. That's kind of a clever twist there. Let's see where we left off last time. On day two. Okay. That's something new here. Tokyo flu lately. Okay, that was that. I guess I should go to work. Wednesday, December 14th. Good evening. Hey, Jill. What? That's the sound you don't hear every day. But boss, what are you doing with that helmet? I was just about to ask you where it came from. A white knight came yesterday. She left and, well, she forgot to take it with her. I figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it under the couch. Wait. Do you regularly put things on without asking who they belong to first? I don't plan ahead of my way every move, Jill. I just act. But apparently putting a random helmet on my head is just acting appropriately. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. You sound happy. You're totally gonna wear that thing around the, around all day, aren't you? Well, this helmet is comfortable and cool and comfortable and cool and and really, really cool. Hello. It's strange that you're late, Gil. Yeah, the traffic was. Yeah. Don't run. You have work to do. I'm not going back to Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Chief? Sorry, I thought you were someone else. <laughs> Apparently, that was a funny one. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll donate the Pluto Warhead somewhere else. For safe. And what, where now? Nothing, never mind. She seemed happy. She's just been tense these past couple of days. If she's somehow relaxed now, good. Are you real? Are you all set? Yep. All right. Let's, uh, now let's, let's do, 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 change up the system a bit. There we go. Time to time to make drinks and chat. You. Oh, Miss Kim. Because of you, I got up late and lost a full day of work, and now, on the day, everyone got a nifty assignment, too. Wait, because of me? You were the one that got me drunk and made me fall asleep like a goddamn log. So you arrived home safely, that's nice. That's all you have to say? What do you want me to say? If I felt remorse over every client that gets drunk in here, I wouldn't be working. But, true, morally speaking, I shouldn't like people, I shouldn't let people get drunk. But getting people drunk is the unspoken main purpose of my job. And I say that I didn't know how much alcohol you can handle, so... I... Uh, seriously, what kind of answer is that? Uh, hello, Mr. Donovan? Do you know? Hey, Brat, you're just in luck. I decided to bless this place again. Luck, he says. Oh, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? He wants a beer. He always wants a beer.
here. Plus, partial credit. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today, we're supposed to hand the interns an article topic. All those crazy bitches came walking to me like the first high schooler with a car. I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. He was supposed to be doing an interview today, but to hell with that. And thanks to all that shit, I found myself in. Let's see your head home with my presence. You were here yesterday too. How, how did you, how did that come about? There's this girl that's performing at a concert there tonight. Yesterday, I was tuning the deep, I was tuning the deep as an interview. I'd have to do a third day. And like I said, I'd rather work here than deal with the, the pack of competitive bitches. I see. How was that interview? Easy enough. The fact the girl had a nice pair to knock herself. We put a long way in the apartment of Williams, of little sex appeal, I tell you. She was a little man? Yes, one of those new fancy King Class CH1A models. I've heard they're anatomically correct in every way. What? <laughs> I wouldn't mind finding out all about that myself. What? We're talking about sex robots? We're talking about sex robots, people. <laughs> hey, you. That guy with the John face. Not me. What the hell is a John face? Yeah, you. You. Do you know? I don't think so, sir. No, I'm pretty sure you know. I sure heard you. Hey, wait. Yeah, it was the Hong Kong riots 10 years ago, right? I've never been to Hong Kong town. I certainly didn't defend from any anti-rare force of destroying supplies. Really? That's a bummer. Look at the guy who owes me a drink. You ever in those riots, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some incarnate kind of hippie to you? Two years ago, I tried to start a silicon business. But I was in Hong Kong talking with some investors when the damn riots broke out. Seriously, seriously though. Did they really think the laws they were trying to pass would backfire? They were openly trying to separate people with augmentations. No matter how many they have different capabilities you put in between, it's still segregation. And once people start crying segregation, like that, you're doomed. This is a PR hunt, this is a PR century. If, you aren't, if you're gonna do that, disguise it a bit. That's a very like tonic way of summarizing the incident. I mean there are I mean there was a political agenda revolving around student labor. And a plan reached the development stage because the yeah, media was selling fear in the public. The general fear that opposite people would become power hungry maniacs was a key factor in the plans. But everything was mostly the aftermath of development protests or Second thought, maybe it's better to be allowed to be platonic. Trying to get a full picture of my take it back to the Industrial Revolution. All that happened when I got out of high school. I never had to turn down the scholarship in Hong Kong because of all that. <laughs> scholarship. That's no mean, that's no mean feet, right? Well, I guess people on top of the scholarship, there would have been a language barrier. I was kind of excited back then because I was really into one the one Chinese idol band. It's one of those things I'd rather not remember much of. You'd be surprised how easy Chinese can be. So you know how to speak Chinese? The only translator I had available was a piece of face pencil neck. And I wasn't going to allow myself to be seen with that. <laughs> if someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well... I'm guessing let's cautious of it. Might have a chance. Only two, two, well, I don't feel like he's suddenly shocked me to finally learn Chinese. Chinese? Wait, when you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Mandarin? Cantonese? What? When people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word, not the spoken one. It's important to clarify because that's, there are a lot of dialects in the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, a lot of people speak Cantonese, but I'm just saying Chinese won't do. You might have learned Cantonese because you were only going to Hong Kong, or you might have learned Mandarin because it's, just, it's the one spoken by the majority elsewhere. Now with the Hong Kong man to seal deal, I have no idea about anything else. But, right. 
Anyway, surely a suitable the scholarship to serve me a bar blast too, right? Yeah, sure on it. I love this guy. I love this guy. He is awesome. This guy, he does not give the slightest bit of a fuck. <laughs> There's this one wild arrow when I was 12, but it just goes through a shame, so I try to forget it exists. Okay then, it started with the same boring question. How are you? Why I chose this place? How city to tour a new single? Blah blah blah. And what very quickly it was the regular interview since the last we call it business. So I tried some fun questions afterwards. How big are your tits? Is it true that you don't wear underwear on stage? Are you still a virgin? How did she react? She answered them like it was the most natural thing in the world. I don't think I, I, don't think I want to know what kind of questions other people have asked. I did it to get a reaction out of her, but she just took it and tried. In case you were interested, the answers were 91 centimeters for most of the costumes, and no. I see. Wait, which costumes are we talking here? <laughs> Our room backstage was filled to the room with gifts of all sorts. Dolls, the roses, chocolates, fruit. I'm pretty sure I saw at least three dildos in there. <laughs> I freaking love this guy. Thanks for the info, I guess. Knowing the size size of a robot idol is quite possibly awesome. Perhaps too much info, but thanks anyway. You're lucky. I'm in a good mood. Damn, look at the time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? I just finished the interview, and it must be posted as soon as possible. The fact that we're posting it after the chick finished her concert is enough for a problem already. Something like the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns, this big little girl, was supposed to do it, but for some fucking reason, she didn't. I spent two days negotiating something else instead. Negotiating? Did you have to pay or something? Basically, when the encore concert happens, I need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. I see. Okay then, one last trick before I leave. Give me something better to wake me up. Sure. Better drink. Gut punch, that'll do it. Here. Yeah, this works just fine. Man, that girl's producer was angry as fuck trying to negotiate with him was a hassle. I've had less problems dealing with social justice warriors. Oh damn it, I said those words on the internet. I'm gonna be fucked in the shit for life. Who? So-called justice warriors. That mafia bitch led group that runs around solving crimes in swimsuits. Oh yeah, those artificial blonde, artificial tan folks that blunt with big blunt objects, yeah. They're an interesting group, you know. They only accept people born or raised in South Carolina Carolina. <laughs> they go through hellish training on a daily basis. They have to. No normal person can run around in swimsuits in this cold weather. They have an interesting view on the world and how it works, but they're pretty sensitive too. Too many outlets have ins insulted them in the past, so they are trigger happy against <laughs> defamation. 
I've had a dozen guys in Speedos talking to me about talking about some news while flaunting their bags of batteries. And they were still more polite than that producer guy. Think about it. Watching a banana hammock move in front of me at the same time as a bag of batteries was more pleasant. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a banana hammock with bags of batteries on it somewhere though. No, I'm out. Please, thank you, please come again. Please come again. This, you are funny. That was, um, tiring. Hey, Jill, do we have a problem? Don't tell me. I can't take the helmet off. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, very funny. Did you check the internet for help? How to take off Valkyrie type White Knight helmet? It's not a precisely common query, you know. I could break it, but I don't want to damage our client's proper. What? What? Did you run out of air? I just realized you served the Valkyrie in Valhalla. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of air with this helmet. What are you going to do? I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. Let's see, where was her number? Oh, here it is. Hey, Iris, I need some unclogging advice. Iris? I've heard the Chief call her a couple of times. She's a friend. More importantly, will Chief be fine? She will. Even if there's no God or Buddha, you can always trust Boss. Yeah, let's hope you're right. Hey, honey, can you see me? Ah, Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really, man? Did they sell me? Did they, did they sell me the wrong stuff? Who sold you what? I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon. And are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello. Oh, hello, Dorothy. Of course, wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit then. Didn't see you. Oh, I get it now. They sold me a Vic jammer. Not an optic camouflage unit. Um, care to explain? Have you seen those picture videos of someone stripping or undressing? But I mean, the ones where the clothes are the only thing you see and the other person is invisible? Come again? There are people out there with the fetish for invisible people. Where you can only see a few articles of clothing floating about. I was trying to find something that to let me sit here to that finish, but my contact must have, must have misunderstood my request. I asked him to bring me something that make me invisible, and he did, but I'm only invisible to cameras. Even then, can't your clothes be invisible too with just a jammer or something? You have a point. Oh well, I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a nanoco module. Nano camo? Haven't you heard of nano? Nano camo? That's a mouthful. They're a military technology company that recently breached the breached the civilian appliances. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials to take any color or texture you want. You can order the module from them and change the colors of clothes, walls, or tables with it. Sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does that have to do with? You want, what is that to what you want though? If I remember correctly, there are there, they have a module that makes you almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey. Nice last time I checked though. Almost to the human eye. Well, no, it's not perfect. If you move, you'd be an airy surroundings colored blob. And we lull and see things differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, it might be what I need. Now, what was that? Now, what was that talking to yourself again? Oh, was it that? Is it this thing right here? Oh, there's the channel, nice. Now, let's see. I'll, I'll leave it on. We buy that for a dollar. Nothing important. What are you having? I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. Sure. So we have 
have a, uh, I don't even know what you call her. Uh, finish fulfilling a robot. Okay, I missed that up. Alright. 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 I keep them for special cases whenever I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of the swamp. And today? Today I feel good! That's nice. Okay, then how's this for a po bonus payment? Oh, the ticket for Friday. I can't believe I still remember that. That guy was so nice and giving it to me. Too bad it was filled to the brim with dogs. I couldn't I wouldn't enjoy it to drink here otherwise. I don't think this ticket should be valid, but then again, they weren't improvised, so there isn't really a contract involved or anything. You know, if you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit an, an arrangement. Keep me fed, and I'll keep you company. You'll still need to pay for it. Pay if you want to get naughty, though. I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. Do you pay him to finish that sentence and I'll make sure you truly become invisible? Fine! Consider this a standing offer then. Oh, hi John. Hey, it's Adam Dorothy. Didn't see you here last Friday. I was dealing with some stuff over the weekend. And Monday? Yeah. Was it a girl? I wish. What did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey honey, what did you what did you do? it has been a complete mystery as of long as I've known him. It's past like a nebulous mass of all oh, the ties <laughs> to bite them every once in a while. Nebulous. Here's so much random stuff, it's hard to make connections about what happened when. And you know people why. Does your boss know about that? I'm not one to judge. Seems like she knows what the hell's going on. But I think it's better off not knowing. It's really that 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 necessary. It's a pain to think about. I'm right here. Did I tell you lies? No, but never mind. Oh, yeah, I bought your boss. Why was she running on it? She found it. She quit on. Now she's stuck. Oh, yeah, Emily putting on stuff. I'm just completely off the you find it's problematic. No shit. I mean, there's this girl that wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as a- Okay, don't finish that sentence. I bet really for no stories, don't you think? Nope. By the way, it's weird that you didn't- I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know. Yeah, but you lose a come before you start. Aw, oh, did you miss me that much? Yesterday I was- so was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it was weird, but not kinky weird. The guy paid me to spend all day pretending to be his daughter. I don't want to elaborate on that. Really? Yeah, I go to his house at 11 a.m. That just looks quiet. This is I spent all day there. Play some games in case you tell him I love him, go to bed when ordered and leave. Nothing sexual. I used to expect... I used to expect him to push me against the ground and have his way with me. But after three years, it's unlikely that'll ever happen. Three years? <laughs> yeah, one day a year for three years now. Oh, but last year he also wanted me to play the part of, play the part of his daughter's birthday. Wait a second, does he have a daughter or not? Had. Seems she died four years ago. Oh. Yep, I seem to attract that kind of people for some reason. What kind of people? Nobody. I said nothing. Give me a moon blast! <laughs> sure. 
So a uh, sex working robot. What we got here? Outside a concert. Yeah, now that you mention it, I remember seeing a line at a stadium a couple blocks away. They couldn't take their eyes off me, so I took some photos with them. Uh oh, why do you ask? Someone just mentioned someone did this here a minute ago. Seems he was interviewing the star of the show. Really? What kind of person is the star? Some girl, he didn't tell me her name. Seems she's a King Class H1A. Oh, what's with that reaction? Nothing, it's just that the Shia is the mom that comes after mine. Really? Yeah, they think they're so important because they have more sensitivity points in their skin. And because their voice modulators are more advanced. They do? No, no, I'm kind of jealous if they do. I have that. I have to model myself to have what they have from the get go. You know? Wait, they don't make DFC 72s like you anymore. My line is quite a while well, thank you very much. The difference with the Shia is mostly that they sacrifice functionality for appearance. They don't have the extra jump and ignition force in their heads, and their sense and abilities are working, so those are the humans. They're mostly for human stand-ins, while my line is slightly more work-oriented. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, I think I saw the concert poster outside the bar. Poster? If you work here, you should know which one. I kind of forget, forgot to use like that. If she waits from time to time. All because of Dido and Go-Go. The vending machine outside, they blabber so much I learned to ignore anything on the door. Oh, and here I was wondering why their volumes were reduced so much. They were interesting to talk to. They are interesting to talk with. They just talk so much. Wait, vending machines talk in this world? You can actually get physically sick of listening to them for too long. Good evening, Bill. Welcome to... The... That happened a lot. Not really. It will happen less if Jill would let people call her Jules. Call me Jules and I'll make sure every time you sit, you'll hear the, you'll hear the cling of your shaker. Fine, fine. I'll be with you in a moment, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Sure, no worry. Hello, sailor. Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey. Let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I insist, I got a hefty bonus the other day. Today, and today I'm feeling a good mood. I suppose if I didn't feel it, it'll be a polite thing to object. Sure, I'll take you up on your offer. Yay, honey, I'll have a big sunshine cloud. I'll be fine with a just a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. The writer nods. Man, yeah, that girl puts me on edge. With the way she dresses people. Okay, now let me get your orders. One big sunshine cloud and a gut punch. Here and here. Thank you. 
All in order, thank you, Dorothy. Don't mention it. And you thank you, Jill. It's my job. Hey, Dorothy, may I ask you something uh, private? If you need a price list, I have a convenient card with updated fees! <laughs> I can give you a discount if you play you pay for the room or invite me to dinner. No, thank you. It's not about that. Then go ahead. I don't. I don't. I don't think you can ask me something I've never had to ask before. Is it true that the DB, DFC2 line sneaks tracking nano machines and other any other person after they bang? After they violate, after they violate every hole in your body, regardless of its original purpose? Yes. That's a semi-myth that nobody has tried to dispel. It's true, but most also not true at the same time. Can explain? We do have tracking nanomachines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted or the like. That way the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's kind of buggy though. My first story of DFC 72s to Mary get nervous on their way night and BAM! Their partner ends up spending a honeymoon in jail. I see. And besides, I follow myself so much that, uh, that if any tracking their machines were still being released, I'd have to command their tenacity. I'd have to command their tenacity, to be honest. There is also this urban myth that those nail machines improve performance, but it's just silly. Now I get to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. How much of you is still organic? Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know that's not what I mean. I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. Fine, see if I care. Honey, I'm going. I'll leave you with the mini. Thank you, please come again. Dark girl, something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does. It's kinda hard not to root for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever that becomes a problem over time. Okay, I'm done. Right, I'm gonna go and take my... Gil! I need your curly hands for a second! Coming. Sorry, can you take care of him while I help her? Sure, no problem. I apologize if I'm taking time for your break. Nah, don't worry. Sorry you'll have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you usually seem to have a blast with Gil someone circling me. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars blast? That I can do. Messed up there. Assassin can be so positive and pleasant to be around, but I guess your line of work doesn't have any bearing on your personality. Thanks a lot. But I thought the worry about is how how you can be so calm here. Aren't you worried about police or the like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. No room with no children. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, so I don't raise suspicion. And finally, you can thank your boss for easing my mind about other folks. My boss? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. She can take care of the thing, the things that I would haywire. Haywire, you? Don't mind that. Hard not to mind if you just said, no. You wouldn't happen to know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? I heard she lost her original fighting the side of her wrestler that had gone rogue. Just a rumor though. 
Sam, I still don't know that. Have you tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if it's such a mystery. She's right. Most likely we believe she might have started some else rumors herself. They're believable because she's her. Maybe I don't see her in action with that. You should. It's quite a show. Good news, Jill, the helmet came off and you can take your break. Finally! It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss break! Alright! Time to save. Boss should clean the chicken bucket she throws out. Everyone can smell the spice from a mile away. Let's go to the end of the list. the butt on again. Right. Yes, it's open. Great. Welcome to Valhalla. Good evening. Um, what kind of place is this? Did I step into some kind of afterlife? You often enter places without knowing where they are? Sort of, kind of, yeah. Well, this is a bar. A bar. Nice. Nice. What can I get for you? I don't know. I don't drink that much, to be honest. What do you recommend for me? normally enjoy. Like, see, that's not something I can work with. What about flavors? Bitter, but not too bitter. Sorry if that's too confusing. Something bitter, but not too much. Bitter and curly? Um, let's see, what's this? Okay, now it works. Yeah, now let's begin our drama. I feel really drunk. Try this. Yep, this will be just fine, thanks. You don't look like you're from around here. What brought you here, miss? I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the one that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the morning light that will show you your dreams. I'm Karamika. Karamika. Sorry, kids. I call you Miss Miki or Miss Kara. No, you're not getting it. I'm just Karamika. Here, let me help you. I'll say Kara, you say Mika, okay? Okay. Kara? Mika? No, 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 put more spirit into it. Kara. Miki. Almost there. Kara. Miki. Kara. <laughs> this is officially stupid. Mickey! Kira? Mickey! Yes! Are you feeling it? Kira! Mickey! What the hell? Kira! Mickey! Kira! Mickey! Yeah, don't you ever forget it. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? Um, where are we, Jamie? Alright, I was telling you. Wow, you're good. Thank you. That's nice to know I still have it. It's best since I have a concert in a bit. Concert? You're the little that's put in a concert tonight? I'm one little that's who's playing on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same little you're looking for. Am I 
Like, what are you doing all the way down here? Well, they're making little flash preparations for a concert, so I snuck out. My producer was always obnoxious while that's, while that's going on, so I just decided to leave. I saw one of the concert posters outside and said, this place. That's that? Isn't that a bit dangerous? What's your producer? Don't you just be mad if you're you come back? He will. That's not the first time I've done this. He still needs me to do the concert anyway. I see. How big is the concert? We're planning for a bit over a hundred thousand people and sold out fast. So we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. That's nice. Yeah, I uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. I may not have as many fans as other performers, but mine are very loyal, and that's nice. Over 100,000 is not many. Then what is exactly? Hold on. Faith that you're a little bit of a now. I should call you Miss Mickey, right? If you don't get it, let's start from the top. I'll just call you Miss Idol then. Oh, I like that. Hey, do you have anything soft? Soft as an alcoholic? No, I meant soft as a soft. Soft? Let's see what I can get. Yes, I'm still trying to get her drunk. <laughs> Try this. Yes, this will do. That'll do. Thanks. Hey, have you considered being a... Uh, have you considered being more gasful than with some drinks? Huh? Yeah, you know, like spinning bottles and lighting drinks on fire, that kind of stuff. When I was in college, I tried going to a party once. The bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty prompt on the head before the boss slipped from the boss <laughs> before when the boss slipped his hand. Those kind of theatrics usually feel pointless and seem to fill out a process of actually making a drink. Yeah, but never underestimate the power of playing on a good show. It can feel incredible and be very rewarding, you know. I'll keep it in mind. Uh, hey, is that glass important? Depends on why you're asking. You want me to sign it? Oh, sure, I guess. No guessing, are you sure or not? Yeah, do what you please. Okay, then who should I make it out to? My boss, I wonder if Jill was uh, Your name, girl? Oh, uh, for Jill then. For Jill, never lose your star. Kira Miki, Kira Miki. Damn it! <laughs> oh, that's, a that's a pretty autograph. Thanks. No, thank you. I'm guessing someone with as many fans as, as you has their fair share of stalkers, right? Well, there are those two, there are two kinds of people that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight, and then there's my fan club. What's the difference between them? The fan club follows me around a lot too, but use the news to keep a distance. Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. I see. They're also very organized. They make pretty good soldiers. The others, the stalkers, are a bit sneakier and don't act in groups. I'm guessing those stalkers must be bothersome. Huh? Actually, they're not that bad. Stalkers are nice when you get used to them. I remember one was protecting from being mugged. There's another, there's another one that works to my house once a week to make me breakfast. And she fails to see the problem! <laughs> They leave my underwear door the same way they find it. I take pride in how neatly I organize my underwear, you know? I take pride in my old liquor collection, I guess it's the same. But what is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get me, Jill. Okay, one more drink before I go. By now, the stage should be all organized, so the follow-up should have been so it's been a bit late for the concert. It's a part of, it's part of my gimmick, I was like, my concerts go from night till dawn. And what? In this one, I'm supposed to close the song. The song called Sunshine Stone. If everything goes to plan, and the weather forecast is accurate, the sun should come out just as I reach the climax of the song. I'd be depressed if they asked ask for your love as a drug. It's an encore love. That sounds nice. Hey, I need to. I need to make people feel their tickets weren't worth the ridiculous price, you know. 
Don't you think it sucks if I aim for something only to find out you shouldn't have bought it? Yeah, one time I bought some expensive coffee in this cafe. It tasted like filthy water with cream. I still don't know if it was the coffee or the girl that served it, but it was bad. Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have something better? I really need to wake myself up. Let's see what I can find you. My favorite bitter drink. The gut punch. No, no, no. No, I'll give her a file driver. Try this. Yeah, this works. So, how is it? It could be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. I figured it, it was for waking you up or something, so... Really nice, thanks. And Jill, have you ever heard of lost your identity? I have lost my ID card a couple times, yeah. No, I mean your identity, forgotten who you are. That's with a change of expression. No, not really. I did. Huh? Kira Miki is just an artist's name. At first, it was hard for me to play the part, you know. But I gained so much satisfaction with concerts that I decided to invest myself. But I overdid it. How so? I became so invested in a character I forgot who I was. Who I was before I became Kirimiki. What do I, what did I like? Where did Kirimiki end and I begin? I just don't know anymore. Man, that's depressing! What drove you to such a decision? The fact that I know I'm performing an old duty. How? You have to deal with many stressful things in everyday life. Work, debt, sickness, and security, the black slime that comes out of sewers every full moon. Wait, what? You don't know what will await you every morning. You just don't know if you'll make it back to bed that night. When measure the cons of life outweigh the pros. People need something to cling to, and for many, I'm that thing. You are? During my concerts, they stop being themselves for four hours. Not a nurse, an office worker, or a storm clerk. For those four hours, there gets a part of the mass that goes to see an idol. No religion, no gender, or social class divides them. They're all at the same level. That's pretty profound. When not in concert, I try to give them songs that will cheer them up, that will make their lives worth living. When I see the people call my name from stage, I know they're thinking, thank you. Thank you. Thank you me for the single moment where they can be happy. That's what I love about that stadium. I'm down I'm down below while they're up high. If I'm forgetting who I was before me so I can protect those smiles, so be it! I'll make the sacrifices many times as needed. Because I live for them. Because I know I help them. I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern light that will show you your dreams. Are you Batman? I am Kiramiki. And don't you ever forget that. Fan club to me! We ride to the stadium! <laughs> She's something else, huh? I suddenly feel the urge to ditch my shift and follow. Do you think she's telling the truth? Give me a sec. According to this article, her real name is Michelle Kingan. The boy about two years ago. She did a few variety shows with her jazz band, but went solo afterwards. What was all that talk then? She was drunk and she was and she was she's a very particular drunk figures. Still quite the motivational performer. No doubt. Boss we're done! Alright. You feel like going to that girl's concert? Nah, I don't think so. I don't have tickets anyway. Hey boss, does the name Red Comet ring any bells? Why? Why just... That was my monitor during my wrestling days. Huh, your? That's what they called me during my time in the Grand Slam Fighters. They saw me coming, but they didn't stop me from, before I crashed to their heads. Any reason for the rest specifically? That was three. That was wow, two times faster. How did you find that out? Did you be 
you like wrestling? A client mentioned it yesterday when I saw you. I kind of remembered it. Ah, I see. I should take you to a wrestling match sometime. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. In any case, skills clean at last this day, so I'll leave now. Take care. Oh, and boss. Don't cram me to go your head without thinking, please. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what we can do. We no mistakes. I'm going to make commissions. I'm going to make it down to the depth. I'm going to make it flawless. I'm going to smack. I'm going to smack in $2,000. This time I'm going to look at my drug finest on the ground and I'm going to distract it. No, I'm going to be done. Get down content, I can relax. Hey everyone, I'm going to try and perform a large number of concerts every year, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. One more civil death will ban protests. Who was Alice Rabbit? What's this? Dangerous opinions. Alice Rabbit could have been concerned. Let's save up. That's a bit too much right now. That's really too much right now. That's gonna be it for today. Uh, I think that was a pretty good amount of stuff done. Well, see you for the next part. <laughs>